Don't flip. Where you at? Whoa, what the hell? Bro. Okay, that was terrifying. That made me feel like it was a alligator. All right, I don't like that. No, no. That wasn't like it was stuck. Mm -mm. That felt like something had it. Just grabbing it. No. That felt like a gator. Felt like I was picking up a gator. Mm -mm. Not today. Not today. Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nero. Welcome back to my channel, Fish and Trips. Got a special episode for y'all today. Today, I'm doing something I've never done. I'm going to crab. Crabfish? Crabbing? I'm going to do it for my kayak, man. I'm, I'm trying to get away from the bank. You know what I'm saying? Explore, man. It's about April 20th. The water temps are about 80. The crabs are... I think they're coming out of hibernation. So what we're going to be doing is... Taking this fancy Hobie kayak and dropping my traps from the kayak. Now, in between that, I brought my poles this be motor we're doing a little you know a little fishing in between and see what happened now here's the situation i gotta pull my traps if i actually catch a trap i gotta retrieve the crabs from the net and place it in the bucket behind me disaster is ahead i can feel it enjoy the episode y'all let go all right y'all let's get this party started i'm surprised about i have enough space with the bixby motor my milk crate, crab bucket, pods, and etc. Now note, this Mirage Drive, I got it leached up, right? Cause I need a little room. So it's like a, what? I think that damn thing is like damn near $800 maybe. So let's go ahead and launch. Without dying. <sighs> Now, I never fished this particular bayou before. There we go. Let's go and strap up the PFD. I'm not sure what the gator situation is here. All right. Let's get up. I'm not sure how deep it is here. I don't know nothing about this. I'm gonna do my first one right here. Let me stick out. Here we go. All right. Well, no time like a present. So here's my double drop net. Got like a 20 foot line on it so we got plenty i'm only in about 1.5 foot of water but i'm away from the boat ramp so i don't know i keep hearing something flash behind me Once again i don't know if there's alligators in this water now i think about it i think i might have left the gun in the truck not good right now. Alright. Make sure my bobber floats. And it floats. Alright. On to the next. So I need a boat. So we're doing this on a boat. My lines all hanging up. I put my chicken in my trap while on land, thinking it will buy me some time. Okay, we're good. Alright, that looks good. Let's drop this one here. Man, 2.8 foot of water. Here we go. There she goes. Alright. On to the next. And three on the opposite side over there where those rocks at. Perfect place for um gators, cougars, and bears and stuff. You know, whatever. I can't believe I'm in a new bayou and I got the gun in a truck. That's crazy. It's 
It's all good. It's just take one gator and we're going home. Alright, man. Once again, chicken is stuck. Now, I thought about buying some um like metal crab pods, y'all. Definitely be a lot easier, but just drop it right now. I, I, I wouldn't even know. I could I, I'm struggling with this this right here. You know what I'm saying? So to have some big metal crab pods would not definitely work. Come on right now, get it together, baby. Get it together. Look at that work. Get over there. Let's not get over there. Don't run into your buoy. Don't get caught in your buoy. Did you call him my buoy? Definitely called him my buoy. Alright. We got a crisis situation. My crap out is stuck on my damn. Oh Alright. I think my crap pot is stuck. Okay, we got it out. We got it out. Okay, cool, cool. Note to self, man. When you drop your pod, do not get caught in your motor. I gotta get more efficient at this part. Because, yeah, it's, it's just chaos. There we go. How long it took? All right, it took 14 minutes to drop six pods. <laughs> All right, so time is now two o'clock. I don't know how often I should check them. I'm thinking um, we'll check them in 15 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, 20 minutes. We'll check them in 20 minutes because my first pot I dropped over there, that's 15. So 15, that'd be 30 minute drop. All right. Yeah, we'll check it in 15 minutes because that means that the first pot I dropped been soaking for 30 minutes. All right, y'all, so um, in the meantime, I'm gonna try to be proactive, throw a little soft tail, do some fishing. See if I can get on some trout, catch a limit. But the main goal is crab. All right, here we go, y'all. Super deep. Okay, I think I can get it. Anchor right now. Step one, anchor. Here we go. Okay, it's right here. Oh, we got one. It's not a keeper, but we got one, y'all. There we go. Okay. Hold on. Don't bite me. Oh, ouch. There we go. Alright. Fresh crab in a pot. Let's see. So this is my little crab gauge right here. We'll go point to point. Bam. Keeper. See that? Definitely a keeper. Bam. All right, y'all, so we got our first creeper crab on the trap. I can't believe that worked. So what we're going to do, it's not a big one, but we're going to put it in a bucket. Take my batons out just in case. I need those later. Run them back. All right. We're going to put it back out. Let's go catch. Let's go check our next one. You. All right, so we only got one crab in the first round of catching my, um, checking my traps. But that was like a 35 minute to 45 minute soak. I mean, part of me feels like it's way too long because when I'm on the bank, I check them like every 15 to 20 minutes. Once again, these are not like cages where they can just go in and can't get out. They can get their little feet and walk right out and be gone. With that being said, I'm gonna check my other ones. And possibly Damn, rocks are good. All right, let me reassess. I'm gonna go check my other um, traps again because the first one I dropped it has already been like 15 minutes. I think if I let them take too long, it's just too much. It's a learning process, y'all. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Get, get, get over here. Here we go. Oh man, it's way behind me. What is going on? We got one though. That's my tongue. Oh, no, gotcha. Yeah. All 
right y'all now see small crowds but yep check it out what the hell is that Ugh. It has some kind of worms on it, huh? One, two. Bro, what is that? Give me a second, y'all. It got leeches on it. Ah, ah. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Smell. And we got a keeper. Tip the tip. There we go. Not big, but it is a keeper. <gasps> oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. Bro, what the? That's a big weight coming towards me. That's a big weight coming towards me. That was not no fish. Definitely not no damn fish. Oh my god, I must die. That had to be a gator, right? It had to be a gator.